guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be reading Whatever After Beauty Queen, Chapter 1. Come back, memories, come back. Put on your sneakers. My brother Jonah hides under his covers. Not again, Abby, it's already midnight. Yes, again, I say. And it's not midnight yet. We still have three minutes. But I don't want to sneak into the basement again. I want to go back to sleep. Do you remember anything about our magic mirror yet? I ask, looming over his bed. No, he says, his voice muffled. Nothing. Then you can't go back to sleep. Let's go, let's go. Here's the thing. We have a magic mirror in our basement. And at midnight, when we knock on it three times, the magic mirror sucks us inside and takes us into a fairy tale. Really? Well, first it turns purple, then it starts to hiss and swirl, and then it sucks us into a fairy tale. The issue right now is that my brother doesn't believe that the mirror in the basement is magical. Which makes no sense because he has been through the magic mirror with me six times already. But the last time we went through, the fairy who lives inside the mirror, her name is Mary Rose, hypnotized Jonah by accident. He remembers everything else about his life, his name, my name, the fact that we live in Smithville, but he doesn't remember any of our trips. At all. Not even a little bit. How sad is that? We've had all these adventures and he had no clue about any of them. We hiked with Snow White. We baked brownies with Cinderella. He turned into a human popsicle in the story of the Snow Queen. And he remembers nothing. Nothing. It makes me feel kind of lonely. Come on, I whisper yell. I can't be too loud. My parents are sleeping. Let's go. I'm really hoping his memories come back once he sees the mirror in action. Nothing else I've tried has worked. I made him wear his soccer cleats around the house. I was hoping he'd remember how wearing them had totally messed up Rapunzel's hair and left me no choice but to give her an extreme haircut. I fed him apples, hoping he'd remember meeting Snow White. I even showed him the jewelry box in my room. The paintings on the box show what happens to all the fairy tale characters after we visit their stories, like Rapunzel with her shorter hairdo. But nothing has worked. He still has no memories of our adventures. When did you get so annoyed? My brother mutters as he climbs out of bed and smushes his feet into his sneakers. Prince, our dog, nuzzles his nose against Jonah's heel. I ignore the question. Are you wearing your watch? I ask. A watch from home is the only way to keep track of the time when we're in fairy tales. Yes, he grumbles. Good. Follow me. I head down the stairs to our basement. Quietly. I don't want my parents to wake up. They don't know about the magic mirror. Mary Rose hypnotized their memories away on purpose. Plus, we promised them that we wouldn't go into the basement at night. And I hate breaking promises. But what else can I do? I need Jonah to remember everything that happened and this is the only way. Also, going through the mirror is fun. Prince follows right behind me. I can hear Jonah grumbling to himself behind Prince. Close the basement drawer, I tell Jonah as we climb down the final flight of stairs. He does. I motion for him to come closer and face the mirror. The mirror is about twice the size of me. The frame is made of stone and decorated with carvings of small fairies with wings and wands. The glass part is clear and smooth, and inside we can see our reflection. My shoulder leaves curly dark hair, my small scrawny brother and his messy brown hair. Prince's furry little body. I knock on the mirror. Once, twice, three times. I hold my breath. Nothing happens. No spinning, no purple, no hissing. Crumbs, I muttered. I've dragged Jonah down to the basement every night for the past week to knock on the mirror. And Mary Rose is still not letting us in. Why not? I have no idea. Sometimes she's picky like that. Sometimes she waits for us to wear certain outfits before letting us into the mirror. Like pajamas that look like a kingdom's flags. But she doesn't tell us what she wants us to wear, and it's hard to guess. A few days ago, I wore ballet slippers in case she was hoping to bring us inside the story of the Twelve Dainty Princesses. Today I have breadcrumbs in my hoodie pocket in case she is thinking of taking us into Hansel and Gretel. Between the breadcrumbs and the ballet slippers and the apples, I have been working with a lot of different fairy tale props lately. Let me try one more time, I tell my brother. No, he says and scrunches up his face. Enough! We don't have a magic mirror. Yes, we do. What time is it? 12.05, Jonah says, glancing at his watch. Double crumbs. I guess it's not happening tonight. It's too late now. I exhale a super loud, super annoyed sigh. We'll try again tomorrow. Prince paused the mirror. He gets it. He wants Jonah to remember too. I can tell. Can't we take a few nights off? Jonah asks. It's mom's birthday on Wednesday. I don't have a present for her yet. You can share mine, I say. I made a painting for my mother in art class. It's of a vase of roses. Mom loves roses. I'm feeling guilty for seeking her in the house at night, and I hope that giving Mom something she really likes will make me feel better. I'm pretty sure she'll like the painting. It's great. 
At least I think it's great. I'll know tomorrow when it's dry. Let me try knocking one more time, I say, just in case. No, 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 Jonah says. I don't want to talk to mirrors anymore. Just one more. No, he snaps. You're starting to freak me out, Abby. We don't have a magic mirror. If you don't stop bugging me about it, I'm going to tell Mom and Dad you've gone crazy. Wait, Jonah, don't go. He has to remember. I need him to remember. Let me get you a snack. Do you want another apple, a brownie, or maybe a popsicle? Prince wags his tail. Jonah blocks his ears and rushes up to the stairs. I guess he's not hungry. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.